Hello my crafty friends. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. My name is Robin Pitts with Sir Chauncey Rocco Creative Designs. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about how I package some of my swap projects that I send out. In my previous video I showed you my shabby chic Valentine mini loaded envelope and you'll notice that there were several items that were included in it. What I wanted to do is make everything nice and compact and fit it inside this photo box. This is a standard photo box that I picked up from Michaels. They usually have sales on them and they have beautiful designs or you can buy a plain craft black or white box and then use your own decorative paper to make it look really pretty. Because I created a mini loaded envelope, it will fit just perfectly inside this box and I think it makes a very nice presentation. This is a package that I've created. This is a loaded envelope. I've just included in a clear cellophane bag and then I've used this pretty pink and white polka dot tool. Now in this I could only fit a certain number of items and I've included three of the wands and then some of the embellishments. I've packaged up each of the individual elements in its own cellophane bag. Now you'll notice that I did not include bag toppers on each of these bags and there's a reason for that and I'll show you in a moment once I load up the box. This is a candy box that I created. I like to wrap everything up individually in cellophane or bubble wrap so that it does not get damaged during shipping. These are some extra goodies that I'm including in my package from my swap partner. So what I'm going to do is lay this here on the bottom. Actually, I'm going to turn it around so that it's nice and flat. I'm going to take some pink crinkled paper and just line the sides of this. Pardon the loud crinkly noise. And I'm just using this more so as filler, but also to make it look pretty. Now I'm going to add these individual bags of embellishments and I'm going to fit them right here on the side. Now the reason I am not including bag toppers on the top here is because I won't have room to include my candy box which is going to fit perfectly right here at the top. You'll notice how snug everything is. And then I'm going to take my mini loaded envelope, I'm going to fold this down, I'm going to put it the head at the bottom of the box and the reason I'm doing that is because it's flatter at the bottom of the box. Down here is where I have my candy box. So everything fits in very nicely. And then I'm going to take some more crinkled paper and spread it around. And so this just looks really pretty in the box. And it also helps to add a buffer to prevent any items from moving around during shipping. And then I'm going to take my top and just put it on like so. And I'm going to put a little piece of tape here and a little piece of tape here to hold down the top of the box. And then I can ship this. This will fit in one of the shorter medium flat rate boxes. Well, this concludes my review of my packing techniques. Hopefully I've inspired you with some fun and creative ideas. If you like this video, please do take a moment to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you on my next video. Bye for now and happy crafting.